welcome to my channel. My name is Julie and I am the knitwear designer behind Twin Stitches Designs. I hope that you are having a wonderful day and I am super excited to come back and podcast with you all. Now I know it has been a bit, um, I think about a month and a half, and the reason is I've actually recorded a podcast, but my camera, there's an issue with it. Um, and for some odd reason, when I go and upload it into my software, my entire screen is like red. I don't know what's happening. We've tried, but if I record on my phone, then I upload, it's fine. But anywho, so I did record a full podcast for you all, but sadly I had to scrap it because my camera no longer works. So I needed to get a new one and um, I'm waiting for that. But in the meantime, I've been wanting to check in with you all, so I'm doing this on my phone today. So if it's a little bit different, um, that would be why. And I'm also sitting on the ground um, because it doesn't go as high. So we're just gonna roll with it because we are October and it is officially fall and I couldn't be more excited. I have a big sweater on. I love fall weather. And I have my cup of tea. Um, I'm having a David's Tea Earl Grey, one of my favorites. And yeah, I hope that you are ready to chat all of the knitting with me. I love a good warm cup of tea. Um, trying to get a little bit more into tea, trying to reduce the coffee a little bit. I love coffee, but I'm trying to kind of have a, more of a balance because I was noticing, I don't know if you guys are like that, let me know below. I had way too many cups of coffee, so definitely need to balance that out. Um, so since the last time I have finished a few things, I finished, um, a garment and some socks and everything. So I want to share all of it with you all. But first up, um, if you like my podcast, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any episodes as well as everything I chat about. Usually I link down below this video. You can find me over on Instagram and Ravelry as Julianne Knitter. I'm mostly active on Instagram, and we also have an incredible Patreon group that you can find linked down below, which is blowing up, and we're going to chat about that later because we have a brand new book club um, and a two knit-alongs that are happening over there, so you definitely don't want to miss out on those. But first, let's go over um, what I've released since, or what I've finished since the last podcast. This one, you will have seen it as a work in progress on the last podcast, but I have since finished it. So this is the sweater that if you follow me on Instagram, I have been wearing this nonstop because I, it's so ridiculously comfortable and I love it. So this is um, a brand new sweater design that I am designing with We Are Knitters in their easy breezy yarn. And you can see like the drape of this sweater is incredible. I knit this out of olive and this one is natural. Um, it is a top down yoke design. We are currently having it test knit into the women's sizes. I've tried grading it in men's sizes and I'm putting a pause to it just because it's been, it's been a little rough with the men's sizes. So I definitely want to pause it really we rework everything and only release things that I feel are very well written and the men's sizes it's just all over the place a little bit so I definitely want to pause rework that and then potentially release it at a later date but um the women's sizes will be coming out in November I love this sweater it is super comfy the easy breezy yarn knits up like butter so it is a 51%, uh, is it 51% cotton? I know I have it somewhere. 51% um, cotton bamboo and 49. It's 51 and 49 of bamboo and cotton. I forget which one, I'll put it below. But um, yeah, so I knit this on a US 6 and a US 8. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sweater. I'll put a photo actually of me wearing it right here. It's definitely going to be a staple in my wardrobe. I adore this yarn. And uh, yeah, I really, really like it. So Tess and are working on this right now. I also have the child version. So in 
with this one, we are going to have a adult version, which is going to be the women's. And then we also have a children's version. I have to weave in that little tiny end. But this is the children's version one. Um, I knit this also out of We Are Knitters, but for this one, I used the baby wool. That one I decided to bring a little bit, which is 100% alpaca. And for this one, um, I held it double. So this one is about a worsted to Aran weight, but I would say more worsted. And this one is a bulky weight for the children's version. It's just so stinking cute. I love it. Um, and this one is actually coming out this week, Friday, October 7th. And um, the sizes you're going to be able to, um, I'm adding in the pattern. So this is a balloon sleeve, which means that you decrease it and it creates this little tiny balloon effect. But I will also have instructions for you to create a normal sleeve. So in case that um, you are not interested in the balloon sleeve. And I am also working on the second one. I can't have one without the other for my twins. So this is the second version. I love how it turns out. I love playing with the colors. Now you can knit this only using two colors like the women's or you can do it and have fun with the three colors. Again, for the second sample, I also used baby wool. Um, for this one, I only need to finish the sleeves and then I'm done. So this one I am hoping to, I'm planning on finishing it before Friday so I can have both of these off the needle, needles, um, and have it done. So this is the baby wool in gray. This is sand. This is dark salmon. Um, this one, Canyon Rose sand again and this one is spotted mauve or mauve uh, this one was knit with a us 10 potentially us 11 have to double check and this one uh the children's version will be releasing this friday october 7th this will also be the patreon pattern of the month so my patreon members dk weight tier and above actually will get this pattern for free each month they get um, the DK weight tier and above, they get one free pattern a month. Typically it's a new design. Um, so yeah, so this month it is this beautiful pattern. And I just need to finish the sleeves on the second one. I love the baby wool. Um, it was Chloe or Claire, I can't remember who tried it on. And she was just like rubbing it. She's like, oh, it's so soft. And I said, yes, it is like it is crazy soft they love it love it so i know that they will also really love this one um my little cubby of sweaters for the girls is growing and i couldn't be more excited so this will be done by the end of the week so this is also a work in progress because i need to finish the sleeves and this um i actually cast it on since the last podcast and did the entire body so this was, you hadn't seen this one yet. So. Okay, now into some socks because since the last podcast, the first pattern in the Coffee House Sock Club has been released. And this is a fun pattern club that you will get three sock patterns, one on September 15th, October 15th, and November 15th. And they are all designed by me. And using this beautiful set, of sock sets that I have in the shop. Now I only have four of these sock sets left and I actually have them on sale. So they were 144 Canadian on for 135. So if you wanna go grab one, I only have four left. Um, and each month you'll get a brand new sock pattern and you can knit it up. So the first one was morning latte socks. This is in the affogato and cold brew um, yarn. This one, what I did was I gave you two options for the cuffs. So we have a cuff that is more on color work, and then we have a cuff that's all cables. So I really wanted it simple, and then we also have a fun little detail at the heel. But I wanted this pattern to be very simple, cozy, comfy, um, a little cable, little color work. 
I don't know, I just really like it. I love small details in a pattern and then you can mindlessly knit. It's just beautiful and really lets the color shine. So I knit this on a 2.25 millimeter needle, top down. All of these are top down with my designs. Um, yeah, so you get these two different options in the pattern depending on what you would like. And yeah, so this pattern was released. And the second one I love even more than this one is all about texture, think cable ribbing. That's all I'm going to say, cable ribbing for the second one. Super, super simple, super simple. Um, so yeah, so that one was released and the second one's going to be released next week, which will be the 15th of October. You'll get the second pattern, which I can't wait. So this is uh, sock pair number one. Sock pair number two, we did the fun one week sock knitting challenge over on Instagram. Like I said, that's the place I'm most active there in Patreon. So if you are interested, um, come and follow me over there. Where's my second one? Oh, there we go. So I designed this pair of socks for Victoria. Oh my goodness, I didn't even say. I'm so sorry, friends. This is Vita Lifestyle in her Affogato and Cold Brew sock set. So it is Vita Lifestyle, Victoria. And all three of these sock sets are from Victoria. Um, so this one as well is from Victoria. She wanted me to design a fun pair of socks that would go in her, um, for her Home for the Holidays collection that we'll be releasing this November. And I decided to do this for the one week sock knitting challenge. Um, this was a pair of socks that I knit, I think, in like three to four days. Um, and it's really, really a lot of fun. So there's some ribbing and then there's some um, fun striping effect. I still need to weave in all my ends. But both pairs are done. So this is in her home for the holidays collection. And then we have a gold mini, a red mini, and then a green mini. So I knit these double stranded, which means that I hold the yarn double. And um, this pattern will be released in November and it will include instructions for both single strand. So if you just wanna hold it single or if you also wanna hold it double. Now, some of the options for holding it double, what's a lot of fun with it is that it creates almost a worsted weight sock and it's so comfy cozy, um, perfect for those cold mornings, comfy. That's what I kind of was imagining when I was designing this is I really wanted it to hug your feet. So that's why there's a lot of ribbing up here. It really hugs and then you have that really fun foot detail. So this will go in my box of socks. Um, really excited. I did a German short row heel. I did about like seven inches or so for the cut for the leg. I really wanted it to be like a long leg. Again, comfy, winter, cold, cozy. It's kind of the vibes I was going for with this. Um, so yeah, this pair of socks is done. Just need to weave in my ends as always. Really love them. Oh, and I also decided to switch the colors so you'll see like the red and green and red and green. I just thought it was fun. I love mismatching colors. I think it's a lot of fun and it shows the different types of combinations you can do and really having fun with your yarn. So I love, love, love it. Um, the last pair of socks that I finished is actually a brand new design and just came out. So this is called the Spellbound Socks. That was, um, I put the pattern up for sale as a mystery on September 2nd with Whitney of Moonglow. So Whitney uh, created this incredible sock set, I'll put a photo here, and um, asked me to design something. And I decided to design these Spellbound socks. So these socks actually have six different knitted charts. And you can choose depending on where you want. So if you would want like both of the cats, if you would want you know, hocus pocus up here. And you also have a chart for trick treat. Um, and you can decide really and make the socks your own. So we have the first one, which is these little cats. 
we have Hocus, then we have the little ghost, and we have Pocus. I also decided to put the heels different as well. Um, yeah, so you can really have fun with it. Um, this is up for sale right now in my Ravelry, and I really love them. I watched actually Hocus Pocus last night and I was wearing my socks and it was a lot of fun. I just really love it. I love how whimsical they are. Um, yeah, I just, I'm obsessed with the feet. Love it. And like I said, you can choose with your socks where you would like what chart to, where to go. So you have two different sizes in the pattern and you can choose, and I've created six different charts for each of those sizes and you can have fun mix and matching. Um, I cannot wait to see all of your socks. So if you do knit these up, definitely tag me and Whitney on Instagram. We have a fun hashtag and we're doing a knit along. So come and join um, if you are using this fun pattern for her sock set. And um, it's still available. So it's the Spellbound sock set from Whitney of Moonglow. It's so much fun. I love it. So another pair of socks for my box of socks. I really need to start knitting Eric's box of socks because mine is growing. His, his not so much. Um, okay, so that's it for the finished objects and we are going to move into works in progress. For the works in progress, I do have one that I can't share. So I am working on the Coffee House Sock Club socks. Um, so that's in this uh, French Supply Co. bag. But sadly, I cannot share it. Um, it is almost done. And um, I'm really, really excited. But that is um, what I'm working on right now. So I'm just going to put that aside. I am going to be finishing the little second sweater that I showed off um, for the girls. Uh, and then also on my needles, I've just, I'm casting on right now is um, a blanket using the Spellbound sock colors, um, but in DK weight. So this is from Whitney. Look at this fun bag. Isn't it adorable? Whitney has been knitting these garter stitch blankets and I have been obsessed and I completely want to copy her. So I sent her a message and I'm like, I saw the colors for the Spellbound and I thought this needs to become my blanket. And um, I'm just starting to cast it on. And what I mean just start, like, I'm just starting to cast on. I will be using a size US 7. And I will be casting on 175 stitches. So these are the first three colors. These are on her DK weight, which is a 7525, I think. Let me double check. Nope. It is a Merino DK superwash, 100 grams, 231 yards. So it is 100% Merino. This is going to be a luxurious little blanket. Um, so I'm going to be starting with this purple. Let me put it in order. It's going to be going like this. So this purple, that one, then that one. So right now I'm working on this one and I am casting on so this is going to be my project for October and I would love to finish potentially the blanket at the end of October um because we are having a knit along for the spellbound but since I've already finished my socks I thought I want to knit along with you all so why not knit up a blanket and after those three we have the three grays so this one is moonlight cold smoke and black diamond. These are the exact same colors in the sock set, but they're just in a um, fun blanket quantity. So we, I have one skein of DK of each, and um, so it'll go like this. The dark purple, light, and then light gray, and then going into the dark, dark gray. And I'm going to be using up every single, like, until I run out and then attach the next color and just knitting garter stitch. I want this to be a mindless project, something that I can just pick up at night when I'm really tired and um, I don't want to think on a pattern too much. I really 
feel like I need more of those patterns in my life a little bit just like a kind of a mindless knit um so I'm really excited to I started casting on on our live the other day and now I need to count them and then just start my garner I'm really excited so that is my project and I have this in the tote bag from Whitney isn't that ghost adorable I mean come on so stinking cute the next pattern that I do want to cast on is uh, ironically another moon, uh, moon glow yarn um the patreon group this month is October month it's my birthday month and I thought why not have fun and actually host two knit alongs in our patreon group if you're not a member come and join um we are having the any hat knit along as well as the spooky socks so the socks are anything Halloween um it can be Halloween yarn Halloween themed anything Halloween pattern um so that's going to be one knit along but the other one is the any hat knit along and this month I want to finish my second cupcake hat so this was a kit from Whitney's shop again on her DK weight base and this yarn and uh, like pattern you can get, only get it through Whitney's shop and I had knit one and it's so stinking cute I mean come on it's a cupcake a cupcake hat like isn't it so stinking cute and all the sprinkles I love it and this is a size for the girls I have a tiny head like it's snug on me but it will fit them and I want it for them for the fall so that they can have it and Whitney includes everything in here for your kit. So you can either grab a 50 gram kit, which will make one hat, or if you grab her 100 gram kit, you can make two hats, which is exactly what I snagged in her shop. So this one is called Brown Sugar, Spun Sugar, and Par is this Paradise? I think it's Paradise Pink for the pom-pom. Fluff, or hair. So... I have not cast on the second one, but I do have everything in my bag from the last time. So everything is in here and ready to go. It's a mess, but that's okay. We're going to get it all figured out. And Whitney also includes all the minis in fingering weight for the little sprinkles. So the entire kit comes with a pattern, yarn, and then the yarn for the sprinkles. So these little tiny minis are all included in the bag in the kit I mean excuse me so I have all of this and it is ready to get cast on so I'm gonna be knitting along with my patron members um, for the Annie hat knit along because I want this done and um, it's getting cold here we woke up and there was frost everywhere there was frost on our lawns and on our cars <laughs> it was cold it was cold this morning um, so that's why I'm wanting to finish these hats and I will be casting on the second one for our knit along. This is in a bag from Maple Moose Fiber that no longer um, does bags that I purchased about 10 years ago, potentially. I just love the size of the bag. Um, last up that I wanted to share was some acquisitions. For the month of October for the Patreon group, we do have a dyer. So I'm getting situated again. A dyer of the month and this month it is just of mama jazz and she has dyed up changing of the leaves now this is only available for patreon members we have a dyer of the month program which is so much fun um each month we have a selected dyer who custom dyes exclusively for the patreon members to purchase and um after one month they can sell it to their shop but for that one month only patreon members have access to it so for the month of october it's this beautiful sock set that includes this gorgeous orange and I have to skate it up again um this purple I love Jess did an incredible job I just love the speckles isn't it perfect for fall so this one's available 
and Jess was so generous. Um, she sent me her holiday one, which is vintage Christmas. Now this one is actually for sale, I think pre-order in her Etsy shop right now for everybody. I love those green and blue speckles. I cannot wait to see how this knits up. And then it includes three minis, three 20 gram minis, which is very, very, very generous. Her base is a 7525, 463 yards. Thank you, Jess. So this one is available for Patreon group members. If you are not um, a member, come and join. Snag your sock set for the month. Come and join all of our knit alongs. We also have um, giveaways. So we have entries for each knit along that you can win um, some prizes. It's, it's a lot of fun. I absolutely love our Patreon group and it has grown substantially, like it's crazy. And this month we also have a fun book club and I'll put the book up here. I actually started it two, three days ago. I started on the first when I was allowed and it's so good. And it's not as scary because I don't like anything scary, um, but it's really, really good. So we have a thread in our Discord group, a private Discord group where we're chatting all about this book and the book club and it is a lot of fun. So I hope to see you guys over there if you are not already. That is everything that I've received and I've been um, currently working on. Now I do have some news for the shop. We don't have a ton left and that is because I will be closing up the shop on October 15th. Um, I have decided for the fall and winter to close up the shop completely and I will reevaluate in the spring, um, in the new year in the spring and see from there. But right now I just wanna spend a little bit more time with the family. Um, girls are starting swimming lessons and Fall is my favorite, favorite season. We love going for walks. Um, yesterday, I honestly, I left my phone at the house and we went out. We go, went to go feed the ducks. We went into the trails. We went everywhere and it was really, really nice. So I just want to do more things like that with the family. So I just have to kind of prioritize and that is why the shop is going to be closing. So if you want to grab anything, mostly everything is on sale. Um, so please go grab it. The Coffee House Sock Club sock sets, we only have four left. Um, a few of the things, like I only have one Discrete Unicorn sock set left. This is Lemon Fizz. I only have one of those left. Um, like we, we don't have much. I have a few of the Fall Boxes. Fall Boxes was something, I have five of those left. They're still available in the shop. And they um, include a hand balm, a wool wash of a custom scent for our shop, which is almost like a snickerdoodle, which smells like warm vanilla and cinnamon. It's incredible. Uh, you will also get four 50 gram skeins of yarn and a sticker and some stitch markers for 94 Canadian. Um, it comes in this beautiful box. So if you want to go and grab that, we only have five left. Uh, the other items that we have in the shop, I have two peach bellinis left on fingering from Craft Nut Yarns. I have two Mama Jess and Stargazer Lily left. I have two mini skeins from Myrtle Yarn in Me Harvest. All fingering weight. Um, I have one, two, three, three sock sets of Vita Lifestyle in the iced tea. So this includes one full gr uh, 100 grams with two 20 gram minis. Um, I have one cappuccino sock set left. I have two of the uh, Monday Blues mini skeins from Mama Jess. I have two of these brand new mini skein bundles from uh, Vita Lifestyle. So these are um, nine 20 gram minis. So I only have two of these left. These are brand new to the shop. Like I said, 
we don't have a ton left but please go and browse the shop and um i will be shipping all of those out i usually ship within a day or two and if you purchase for us and canada over 200 it's 10 dollars flat rate shipping over 250 it's free shipping to us and canada so definitely go browse the shop um i appreciate all of your incredible support and uh yeah so i hope you guys find anything that you like like i said there's a little bit more than what i showed but mostly all of it um we are wanting it to move and to be um done before october 15th so i just want to say also a humongous thank you to everybody who's always purchased from the shop um it means the world when you guys show up for these updates and for these yarns it it truly means so much so i just want to say huge 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 thank you but i do want to focus my time a little bit more on um, patreon and instagram as well as designing patterns i'm finding that i'm just being pulled in so many different directions so that's why the shop is going to be slowing down i want to spend some time with the family um, and bring more designs for you all but that's about it you guys i hope that you enjoy this fun podcast episode and um, i apologize for the delay of it's been so long but just want to say a huge thank you to you all i hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are morning night um afternoon and i cheers my cup of tea tea to you all happy knitting friends until next time bye